Hi friends, morning coffee time again. Well, I've got another unboxing for you today. The High Boost Company sent me a High Boost Travel 4G cell phone booster. I've wanted one of these for a long time. Let's see what we got in the box. Well, let's see what it says this thing's supposed to do. It says it will improve your cellular signal while traveling in an RV or vehicle with the High Boost Travel 4G RV Vehicle Booster Kit. Oh, a card from Amazon, a reminder to activate your warranty. Okay. User manual, 12-volt uh, plug, some kind of an antenna. I already know that that's an inside antenna. Um, a sticky thing to mount it, some double-sided Velcro strips. And the booster itself. High boost. Aluminum heat sink on the back. And there's a second layer of stuff. We have cabling a plug-in adapter if you're actually going to use it inside of a place that has 110 volt electricity I read it in the manual 110 or 240 this is the actual antenna the outside antenna it's very light um, it's not going to take much to support it out there. A mounting bracket. A cable clamp for the mounting bracket. A little package of screws. Well, I have a plan for trying this thing out. The U-bolt is made to clip on to a pole or maybe the ladder on the back of your RV. That'll work real well. Well, I've done a temporary installation here on the Jeep for a test run. I've just got it uh, zip-tied up there, but it'll be an easy mount with the holes that are provided if I decide to put it there permanently. Just running the cable in the window got plenty of cable to run it wherever you need to run it and if I decide to put it on the motorhome uh, that length of cable will come in handy got the plenty of cable for that part also it's going to be an easy hookup here it's labeled outdoor indoor high boost uh, let me hook that stuff up and we'll see what happens okay Outdoor antenna, power cord, got a blue light. Good sign. And I got the indoor antenna. So a piece of Gorilla Tape there. Again, this is all just a temporary install to test this thing. See if I want to leave it in the Jeep or put it up on the motorhome. Let's go get lost on Gardner Canyon Road. <laughs> Well, we're off to see if we can find a low cell signal so that we can boost it, right? Uh, you got your phone out, hey? Yeah, I do. How many bars you got here? I've got one bar. You got one? You got two. Oh, I got, oh, wait a oh, minute. Oh, you're down to one already. Holy crap, look at this. Well, hey, uh, maybe I should find a place to pull off the road. It didn't take long to not have a signal, did it? No, it didn't. I mean... Oh, kind of right. in the middle of nowhere, oh, oh, even oh, oh, back oh, at the oh, house. Right there, we can go in there. Still one bar. You got one bar? Mm -hmm. And what do I have? 
I have like one. You have one bar and we're plugging it in. Got blue lights there. Got blue light there. And you have. Ooh, popped right up to two immediately. I didn't know mine was going to connect to two. Let's see how many bars I've got. I got three bars. Yeah, you do. Yeah. Hmm. Well, let's go find where we got no signal. Okay. Well, that's encouraging. I have three now. You have three now? Mm-hmm. So it's finding it. It's finding... Yeah. Oh, you didn't know it was going to work with yours? No. It works with any cell phone from any company in North America. So, did you turn it off, or is it still on? It's still on. Okay. Well, I still have two. Okay. Well, I'm... Oh. It had popped up to three. I'm going to unplug it. Okay. And then tell me what happens. Still at two. Oh, wait. Lost LTE and went down to one bar. Okay. Does this thing work when the car is moving? Oh, sure. As long as you're not going faster than the speed of light, you should be fine. All right. Yeah. You know, one guy I was talking to about this said, well, it doesn't make any sense to have it in your Jeep because you can drive to where there's a signal. <laughs> Hang on. The whole purpose of having an emergency cell phone is when you have an emergency and you can't drive to a signal. The whole purpose of having a Jeep is to go to places <laughs> well, to yeah. get away from. <laughs> and you know the best, all that stuff. the best uh, safety thing for off-roading with a Jeep is to have a second vehicle. And I've been places far, yeah, following yeah. razors where this vehicle should have gone, but it did. It did fine. Well, yeah, the second best thing is to have a cell phone connection. I have LTE. What does LTE mean? Let me shut off the camera. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know what LTE means. Uh, I don't know what. Oh, that my means. my text went out. Yeah, I heard it. Did yeah. you get also get one from me? Calling page oh, I just Hunt. I just got a text message from Jesse, so I'm getting texts here. All right, here I'm calling you. See if it works. Your call has been forwarded to an automated voice messaging system. Nine, so, seven, one, seven. So I'm able to call out, but you aren't able to receive. He hey is. Siri, call Jesse Green. Calling Jesse Green Mobile. Well, it seems to be working. He's just not answering. Did you get Your my call has message? been forwarded to an automated voice messaging system. Nine one. So it's working. I did you get my text message? Hang on a second. Did I get a text message? No. Oh, there it is. Oh, you get this? Yeah, I got it. Mhm. Mm cool. Well, I was able to send it, and you were able to receive it, and we are way out. Yeah. Hey, I think that's a pretty good test. I got two bars. Um, yeah, I definitely need one of these. We're probably the only people out here that have any reception at all. Undoubtedly. Well. Because we've been out here lots of times before, and I, like, could not send text messages or make phone calls. I'm really curious to see if I can still transmit some things back and forth with you once we get up here. Um because I'm going to be running my business from up here sometimes, and it makes a big difference if there's an emergency. Uh, so you're thinking you might want to buy a high boost cell phone booster? Mm -hmm. uh, yeah, all, all these companies keep sending you these cool things, well, like a light bar, and like, I, <laughs> now I want these things. We do a good enough, <laughs> <laughs> we do a good enough review, maybe they'll send you one. Ooh, look at all the razors over here. Oh, yeah. 
Yeah, so that when I'm talking about following the razors, I'm talking about following these guys. Mm -hmm. Ooh, speaking of water, look at here. Yeah, that's a lot of Must water. Must have rained. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Well. I still have no TE. You do? Mm-hmm. Let's see if I do. And three oh, bars. Hang on a second. I've got three bars of LTE. And we are still plugged in. Did you guess you a text? Because it sounds like you just got another text message. You know, you know the deal is when we were back down there and we had nothing, mm -hmm. we we're down in that valley. We're kind of up on a higher plateau now. Um, yeah, but we are way further out from any place where I've ever had a signal before. Okay, so let's pull over here and unplug it and mm -hmm. see what we got. Okay, because I'm two bars LTE. Okay, and I'm uh, two bars LTE. Uh, okay, so unplug it. Unplugged. And... Uh, oh, I went down to one bar immediately. Me too. That back in. <laughs> I'm going to plug that back in. We got blue lights. I went up to two right away. Yep, there's my two. Just fine. Let's see if you can actually uh, access the internet out here. Oh, not that. well, that's a good test. I'm curious about that because that makes a big difference for me when people are asking me questions out here. And yeah, um, I mean, you can even do a live stream maybe oh, in some oh, you cases. Mean, you mean when you have to use Google to make, make pretendly you know what you're talking about? Yeah, huh. exactly. Gotcha. Got you. Did you try to access? Oh, I just got on YouTube. You're on YouTube? Yep. You're on YouTube out here on Gardner Road yep. where we yeah, don't have any signal. It only took a couple seconds too. Wow. Went right to YouTube. What's your what's your uh, recommended uh, what YouTube channel should I go to? JC Travel Stories, of course. <laughs> <laughs> JC Travel Stories. Load one of your videos up here. You're, you're getting a, you're getting an ad on YouTube on my channel. Yeah. Cool. Let it let it go all the way. Well, I was trying. Oh, there it goes. <laughs> well, it's not morning coffee. It's a cold afternoon here in Sequoia, Arizona. Okay. This is a game changer yeah. for being out here. Uh, you want to go right? Narrow Mountain Road, limited maintenance, next six miles. You got three bars? Yeah, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to see if I can go live on uh, Instagram. Let's do it right here at the top of the hill. Checking connection. Oh, you know what? I'm I'm live on Instagram You're right kidding. now. Yeah. Really? The connection is good enough that I can they're telling my followers that I've started a live video. Whoa. What's the name of this product? High Boost. High Boost. Twenty two people joined. <laughs> What? You yeah. have you're talking to 22 people. Yep. Testing a cell phone booster out here by Santa Rita's. Uh, yeah. 30, 33 people in the live stream right now. Really? Yeah. I can't believe that this cell phone booster is allowing. Hey, animals, wild heart. <laughs> <laughs> Wait. Sorry, this was your show. No, that's okay. <laughs> that's cool. Can you guys hear me? Hey, Shapes of Nature just joined. Oh, there's a Tarantula Collective, Richard. Hey, Shapes of Nature. My dad and I are out on Gardner Canyon Road, and we're testing a cell phone booster. Let's see if we can get a good signal out here and... It's so good that I'm able to do a live stream right now. Yep, someone said that the sound is loud and clear. Turn my camera, this camera around, so that they can see what you're doing. I still have the 
I thought that this thing for video two... quality is going to be really good <laughs> I've had, now. I've had this thing for two years. <laughs> I, I've even made a video of it, <laughs> telling, talking about it works great, and I still have the, the, the little plastic thing on the lens cover. Hilarious. Yeah, geez. Wow. Wow. But you're doing a live stream, right? Yep. Did you do a video review for that product? <laughs> I did. And, you know, I can't, I can't believe how good the picture is going to be now. <laughs> no doubt that was like crispy and dried up, faded in the sun too. Yeah, well, I did the review when it was brand new, so maybe it wasn't <laughs> as bad as it would be now. But, you know, I've been thinking, the last couple of times that I looked at these, I was thinking, geez, I need to wash the windshield better. <laughs> I've figured out where I'm going to put that antenna. I really wanted it on my Jeep. We were so impressed with live streaming out there in the boonies when we are off-roading, but I think I've got a better plan. I'm going to put this one on my motorhome. Matter of fact, I'm going to put it up there on the old antenna bat wing. I saw another uh, video where a guy did that, and I've already got access ports up there for the satellite dish cables, the CB cable, and that uh, television cable, so great place to put it. And I'm going to buy this to put on the Jeep because it's made for trucks and SUVs, and it has a rubber-mounted antenna, and occasionally when I'm off-roading, uh, a tree limb gets to me. Well, that's my take on the high boost cell phone booster. And I found that the best price where I'm going to buy my second one is right down here on the link I'm going to give you. And if you use a code that they gave me, JC Boosted, uh, you'll get your best price. Thanks for watching. If you like me, give me one of those thumbs up. And please subscribe and hit that little bell so you know when I post next. Please share me with your friends on social media. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed what was on my mind today.